where four human bodies will fly through the air like four airplanes. Jumpers are presently away at this time. Formation leader has set up his glide. Left wing man moving into his position. Right wing man coming up shortly behind. Slot man coming in fast and furious has taken his position to make the diamond formation. Jumper has given a signal, and there is a crossover. Four jumpers crossing each other in the air. Speeds over 130 miles an hour. Traditionally, at each demonstration, the baton used in the show is formally presented to a prominent member of the audience. General, I'd like to present to you Sergeant Smith. Good afternoon, Sergeant Smith. Good afternoon, sir. Pleasure to see you. On behalf of the entire United States Army Parachute Team, it's my pleasure to present you with the team's baton, sir. Thank you very much for the presentation. You're very welcome, sir. Sir, I'd like you to meet the rest of the jumpers this afternoon, Sergeant Brown. Sure. Competition jumping is something else again. We wear a black jumpsuit, like the one I have on. And there are several categories of competition jumping. There's individual style jumping, individual accuracy, and there are team accuracy events. So you'll know what you're about to see when we take you to a national parachuting championship. Let me explain about style jumping. Style jumping is simply completing a series of pre-assigned turns and back loops while the man is in free fall. The maneuvers are done against the stopwatch followed on the ground through a telemeter, and just like in running a 100-yard dash, the fastest man wins. In accuracy events, this is what we use. It's a circle exactly 30 feet in diameter, and it's filled with soft sand. In accuracy competition, the object of the game is to land exactly on this disc right here, from 2,500 feet in altitude. Put your foot exactly right on top of the disc as you land. One final thing, unlike style competition, in accuracy jumping, there's no free fall involved. The canopy is open almost immediately after the jumper exits the aircraft on what we call a hop and pop. Now with that bit of background in mind, let's go to a national parachuting championship meet. The world of sport parachuting competition is a close-knit fraternity. A lively combination of casual informality on the ground and intensely disciplined concentration in the air. One occupational hazard of competition events is the high incidence of cricks in the neck. Jumpers out. team member is able to bring along his own personal equipment checker. Any wife can straighten a tie. How many can check out a sport jumping rig?
Contrasting with the obvious drama of demonstrations, the competition events run their course in a kind of low-key intensity. Close mark. This golden knight does what everybody's trying to do. He stomps the plate, lands dead center on the target disc. Traditionally, the disc is awarded to anyone skilled enough to guide himself directly to it from half a mile up. If you dig it, it's pretty exciting, but to each his own. Finally, all the totals are added up. Major Plummer, as president of the United States Parachute Association, I want to offer my sincerest congratulations to you and your fine bunch of men who have picked up 81, 81 new world records as issued and approved by the international awarding body, the FAI. Well, right, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Fitch. It happens every time. The excitement and the action end for the time being, and it's time to head for home or on to another show or competition. A brief time to relax, stretch your bones, and let the pilot do the work. Maybe even catch up on a little sack time. And what does a golden knight dream about?